Thank you, Greg and Sylvie. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Brandon Gillis, Business Development Manager with Meetings and Conventions PEI. Our team and 200 members on PEI are proud to sponsor SCC 21, and today we have a fun and fierce culinary competition coming your way from two gentlemen who are no strangers to Sport Events Congress, Wayne Long with the City of Charlottetown and J.P. DeRoger from the City of Summerside. We're coming to you live today from Canada's smartest kitchen right here at Holland College and the Culinary Institute of Canada. Follow me, let's have some fun. Hey, I'm Wayne Long, Events Development Officer with the City of Charlottetown. I'm thrilled to be participating today in Meetings and Conventions PEI Culinary Challenge. But what I'm most excited about is that JP has come all the way to Charlottetown to witness my culinary skill and go down in defeat. Sorry I can't join you this year in person at the Congress. Hopefully we can connect one day soon. Have a great Congress and enjoy. Hey guys, JP DeRosa here with the City of Summerside. Uh, very much looking forward to today's activity and connecting with you guys virtually. Um, it was a long drive up from Summerside today, uh, but it's going to be well worth it after I've been given strict instructions to take Wayne down in this cooking contest, so stay tuned. We're very excited to be a part of the uh, virtual conference uh, and to, to start off uh, I'd like to introduce our senior research and dev development chef Alan Williams. Hi everybody. It's great that you're with us today Alan and uh, my name is Tim McRoberts. I work as the director here at Canada Smartest Kitchen which is a technology access center in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Uh, we're a part of Holland College and uh, we're oftentimes considered the research and development arm of the Culinary Institute of Canada. What happens here in our facility is we help uh, small and large companies and entrepreneurs innovate with their food and beverage uh, products and ideas. Um, we've got a very uh, multidisciplinary team here of product developers, food scientists, business specialists, and really uh, all the things that you need to get that idea that you have about what you feel is the direction of your company or a great uh, new food and beverage for the market and we can help you uh, move through that uh, sometimes complicated process. Uh, we're a part of a larger ecosystem here on Prince Edward Island and uh, we're very proud to be uh, really known as PEI, Canada's Food Island and we work closely with whether it's funders, other service providers and things like that again to, uh, to help people innovate uh, their fantastic ideas when it comes to food and beverage. All right, so Wayne and JP, we're ready for the demonstration of what you're going to be uh, doing for your cook-off. So we're going to have a pretty incredible baked stuffed potato that you'll be preparing. Um, you'll notice there, there's a lot of ingredients available. The whole idea is not to, uh, to, to use every single one. The idea is what do you like, what do you think is going to make a nice baked potato, and, and, and you know, just feel free to get creative with the products. Um, we're obviously uh, here on Canada's Food Island very proud of our local products so pretty much everything that you're seeing here is uh, local and uh, and also uh, for example the double smoked bacon is prepared by uh, our Culinary Institute of Canada students those kinds of things so uh, we like to promote local we like to showcase how great these products are whether it's smoked cheddar aged cheddar local sour cream, of course the potatoes coming from Prince Edward Island, all those kinds of things. So we're going to make a uh, stuffed baked potato. So what we've got is uh, some potatoes that have just uh, come out of the oven, cooled a little bit, they're, they're still warm, and uh, what we're going to do is start off by just trimming the bottom a little bit. And the whole reason for that is when you put this on your plate, it's now not going to roll around on you. So a nice little trick because you're going to really make this beautiful stuffed baked potato and you don't want to roll it around your, your, your plate. So maybe cut it off about just over halfway at the top like that. And then the other thing uh, while we're getting going here is uh, we do have some band-aids available in, in case that uh, <laughs> becomes something that, uh, that you're interested in. Uh, so potatoes are warm, you can grab a little spoon and all I do is I just take the spoon and just go around the edge just to get that kind of mark as to where the potato is going to start to come out from. And you're going to make like this little kind of boat almost. They're already soft, so you get you're, the idea. You're leaving a bit in there. Leave a little bit in uh, because it allows when you get it in them to bake and hold and do all that stuff. Now comes the part where you need to get creative. So I'm going to put a little bit of bacon in mine. I want to use some smoked cheddar in mine. 
And again, like lots of things that you make, if you're gonna have a whole bunch of ingredients, you might wanna think about, um, uh, you know, not, not overdoing it with every single one. You wanna have that nice little, uh, you know, all the different flavors that you're, that, you're, that you're gonna taste. So I'm gonna put some chives in mine. Maybe a little bit of green onion. I think a little bit of chopped dill will be a good idea. And you can see, we've got some, yeah, you, all, all we've done is chopped up some fresh chives and basil and dill, those kinds of things. Uh, it is gonna need a little bit of seasoning, some salt, pepper. Now, we've also got, if you'd like, you can use some cayenne pepper if you'd like, but we've also got some Old Bay type seasoning as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in mine because it's a great match for the lobster. And here, here's a little trick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a nice claw or two. I'm just gonna hold them off to the side. And now I'm gonna get this nice fresh lobster in there. This is gonna need a little bit of sour cream just to bind it up a bit. Now I'm just gonna lightly bring it together. This is going to need a little bit more cheese on top. I'm going to take a couple of those claws that I've reserved. Done. In the oven, about eight minutes or so, 350, 360 degrees. And we're ready. Okay guys, so it's been about eight or nine minutes. Let's take a look and I can tell that that is certainly ready. This is what you end up with. Heated through. Uh, yeah, not fried good. out. Onto the plate and then you've got it. Wow. Nice, easy. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the back right okay. on. All right guys, let's go. All right. Chris and Dan, Dave, Wayne, just, uh, you're gonna need those. Come on, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Long, you cook? You know what, Brandon, I'm no chef. I like to fine dine around town. And uh, as you can see, we can buy my great work happening here. I'm not great in the kitchen. Fine dine, me. So who's the better athlete, guys? Come on. Are you serious? Like, really? Okay, I'm sorry. I knew that. I knew the answer to that one. <laughs> but it's funny, working in this business, um, you, you, come, you become much more appreciative of all different varieties of sport. Um, a couple of years ago, we had the opportunity to host the uh, National Table Tennis Championships. And, you know, table tennis, or sometimes referred to as ping pong, um, you know, you wouldn't really think of it as that high elite level of sport. But man, those athletes rolled in their venue, and, and I was sh sh shocked at the skill level and just, just just even the, the ability for the for the fans to get engaged in that sport it was it was fantastic. So it's, I'm a hockey fan, but I have to say that you know I've become more appreciative of all the different sports we've had an opportunity to host. That looks pretty good, JP. I'm impressed, Wayne. Yeah, so yeah, looks, yeah. That looks fantastic. If you um, step out downtown tonight, you might see this as a feature on many menus within the uh, city. What do you think, Chef? Way to go, JP. That, that looks uh, pretty darn close to mine. Yeah. I like I like how you've got the the cheese caramelized, and you got a great uh, loaded potato there. That I think that's wonderful. Yeah, that, one of the things I noticed from yours was you really overloaded it. Yeah. So that was kind of like the goal to make it look like it's yeah, overflowing. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, you're going to showcase off all those products, right? Exactly, so that's great. Yeah. yeah. No, I look forward to seeing what that looks like on a plate. Well, here, as you mentioned earlier, yeah, um, it's it's quite an easy process, and everything's sort of a fan favorite that's inside. Yeah, of Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know that's great. Yeah. Nice. Well, congratulations. Enjoy, Chef. Thank you. Look at that. I look forward to it. Okay, so we're gonna, we've got one, which is great. So, Wayne, how are how, how, how you making out? What, what Chef, do you think? I did extremely well. Well. Wow. Presentation. You know, what's interesting here, uh, Wayne, is uh, you've got a great uh, ratio of lobster to potato. Uh, it's full. It looks really well seasoned. 
it's actually uh, very precise. I'm impressed. And it's reflective of me. You can see the quality of it and the, the quality of my culinary skill. I'm really looking forward to eating this. But, but you know what? Like honestly, JP and Wayne, you guys have taken this to another level. Instead of me just trying as is, Alan, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you go get mine? Let's do a real comparative to mine here. Go ahead. Because I think we got to judge the way it's not. Wow, I am impressed. I think he copied mine. Mine looks, well... Jeff, we got a problem with it. What? This is the only thing that's back there. Um... <laughs> uh, certainly uh, not your demo. Uh, no, I, I don't. That, that, that looks more like it. That's just out of the oven. Um, Wayne, I think we have a problem here. Uh, well, first off, let, let's begin with the end. You're disqualified. But I, I think JP cooked his in the kitchen. I think that's JP's. Mm. Typical. Mm. Typical. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? But uh, congratulations, JP. Uh, I'm looking forward to eating. What? No <laughs> surprise. No <laughs> surprise. And, uh, yeah. You called it a competition, uh, but really, I mean. But guys, if you, <laughs> you know what? In all reality, though, if you had a good time, we had a great time. It's it's just so great that you could do this at the at. Uh, at the Culinary Institute in Canada, smartest kitchen here at Holland College. You've been great sports. Uh, I hope that this has added a little bit to the conference and uh, people can have uh, a little bit of downtime as they're spending uh, a lot of energy uh, interacting virtually. Um, we've had a great time and, and really, thanks Al, I appreciate that. Um, we do have to travel here though. So, uh, JP, congratulations. You are the proud owner of wow. this thing. Well, there's no surprise that I ended up, you know, of a, of basically a, annihilating this competition. Of I think I the smartest kitchen apron, chef's hat for your next uh, kitchen party at home, some CSK swag, and I'm going to leave it to you to decide uh, should Wayne get something as well. But there, there is also a CSK coffee mug, and I'm going to, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide yeah. how uh, you want this competition yeah, to we'll go. Here, so, Wayne, just as a token of <laughs> my appreciation for it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Yeah. I think it's only fitting, though, that, that I present the crown to the winner, right but I would never want to uh, damage his perfectly uh, shaped go cream head, so crown to the champion. Congratulations, gentlemen. All right, folks, we hope you had as much fun as we had. On behalf of Meetings and Conventions PEI, Canada's Smartest Kitchen, the City of Charlottetown Score, and the City of Summerside Sets, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on Prince Edward Island.